Welcome to the very talented Erin Harks, everybody. Let her. Thank you very much. Hi. Um, I was just accosted in the bathroom by a woman who told me I shouldn't bring my cell phone in there because there's all sorts of bacteria in the air and like fecal matter. So essentially, it's like having poop on your phone. <laughs> I said, You have no problem opening your mouth in here. <laughs> I have enough like germaphobe paranoia without somebody creating more for me. Like I, I don't like a piece of fruit in my drink without thinking about the lemon's journey from the tree to my glass. I can't watch a barista put the lid on my cup of coffee without wanting to scream, why don't you just put your fingers directly in my mouth? I can't work in an office with women that like to kick their shoes off because they think they're home or something and they walk around with their feet underneath their desk without thinking that if a crazed gunman came in and put a rifle to my forehead and said, get out of the fucking ground, I'd be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're gonna have to kill me. <laughs> So it's really nice to be performing again. I just had a baby. Thank you. Thanks. I didn't. I just put on some weight. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I had to stop shopping at Forever 21, and not just because I'm 37. It's a different number that I was having a problem with at that store. <laughs> this little stick figure behind the counter was holding my skirt one day and she was like, oh, <laughs> I can't wear things like this because I don't have any hips, but you're lucky because you're thick. <laughs> I said, you're lucky that I'm on Zoloft and probation. <laughs> Like most women, I have some body issues. I try to work out every day. I go to the gym at least every day, unless the parking sucks, because I'm not gonna walk like a mile to go work out. <laughs> so I work out at home, usually lunges by the dryer when my jeans come out. <laughs> Squats. <laughs> I'm so fit. <laughs> What sucks though is that no matter how much weight I lose, I'm always gonna have the same size head. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the joke yet, but apparently you all see that it's rather large. Thank you. No, it's not, Erin. Yes, it is, it's huge. And um, I know that it is because I can't wear cute hats. Um, in the summertime, all the pretty girls wear the fedoras and stuff. Yeah, no, I can't wear those. It sits on top of my head like a Monopoly piece. <laughs> I look like Mr. Peanut. I'm like, And everyone always says the same thing. They're like, oh, your poor mother. I'm like, she should thank me. She wanted more kids. I made it easy for her. Yeah. My little brother and sister walked out twirling canes. Yeah. And we were Irish Catholic, so she probably had like six or seven she didn't even know about. They just fell out when she was walking down the street. I'm like, there's your brother. So, dating is fun. I've been seeing this guy now for a few weeks. It's at that um, cute but awkward stage where not enough time has passed, where it's okay to start calling him pet names like honey or baby, but way too much time has passed to ask him what his name is again. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> it's time to go. And I asked him last night if he wanted to spoon and he said, I'm more of a knife guy. <laughs> So I stabbed him. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Have you ever tried to convince somebody that you're not crazy? <laughs> How does that work out for you? <laughs> hey, Mike, uh, just sent you a message on Facebook just to see how it's going, see how you're doing, see how you've been, see if you want to get together. You know, nobody can get back to me when we can. And um, I didn't hear back right away, so I went on Facebook to see if you got my message, and you did. You know, you're just on there posting and checking and tagging and liking things, whatever, you get back to me, you can, it's no big deal, it's no big deal. <laughs> 
So I sent you a text just to see what's going on, see how you're doing, see you've been, see you want to get together. You know, no big deal, see if you got my Facebook message. And uh, I didn't hear back right away, so I sent another text saying, are you getting my messages? And I was like, well, if you didn't get the first one, you couldn't have got the second one. So then I sent a third one saying, sorry for all the messages. And then I was like, stop doing that. <laughs> so then I called you just to see what's going on, see how you're doing, see you been, see you want to get together. You know, no big deal, you get back to me, you can. And um, I realized I forgot to leave my number. And I know that sometimes people are like, you know, Oh, I lost my phone, or I lost all my contacts, or I got a new phone. So I called you back just to leave you my number, and it rang once, and it went straight to voicemail. So I know that you saw that I was calling you, hit decline, and then I got pissed off, and I was leaving this angry message like, "What do you think you're better than me?" And then I felt bad because I was like, you know what, that's not fair. Remember you in line with somebody else? Maybe you hit the button by accident. Who knows? The point is that if you just pick up the phone and take a few minutes out of your precious day to call me back, we can hash this whole thing out. I think we owe it to each other after everything we've been through, even if the end result is that we never talk again, which is clearly what you want. For all you know, it could be what I want too. But you're not gonna know unless you pick up the phone and let me call you back and let me prove to you that I'm not. Crazy! Are you even home? I'm Aaron Harks. Thank you very much.